today we have come back with another brand new session now today we are going to discuss about one of the most burning and uh, you know appropriate topic which is actually being discussed and talked about in this present uh, unprecedented situation of covid-19 where you know the economic recession already has started in in fact has collapsed a lot of companies are uh, you know laying off their employees because of the loss of business of their lack of you know operational activity and obviously due to this uh, uh, this situation where you know most of us are not able to really understand how to deal with it but one thing is for sure you know whenever people are complaining about you know their problem with their job maybe you know they are losing their job or maybe you know it's be, you know they are, they are, there are some situation which is arising in their present job whatever it is but one point is very sure whenever you are working in an organization working in a specific function the the position or the profile has to be indispensable in other word it has to be a link fin what is link fin link fin is actually when you are acting as an indispensable resource of any organization there are certain processes certain principles or certain things has to be followed if you really want to be an indispensable person you can definitely understand if you are indispensable for an organization if you are offering something so unique something so special which is actually enabling the organization to gain some benefit which is definitely cannot be done by anyone else in the market in that organization itself then definitely the profile where the role you are playing you know cannot be in any kind of problematic situation so obviously the first target of any professional to be indispensable to be a link fin be it in working in an organization being uh, in working as a professional be it you know be a creative person or whatever it is because we are actually serving something the organization the society our customers whoever it is we are serving them so whenever the service is there the service has to be indispensable the quality has to be remarkable something so different from others that people will not even think about any other option other than you so now in this particular session we would like to understand how to achieve that how to do that actually to be very frank with you everyone have that quality up to a certain extent everyone has that but because of certain circumstances certain decisions certain thought process we really do not apply those qualities and that's why the problem starts so let's understand what are those qualities was what is already there but due to lack of that we cannot be indispensable to an organization to our service to the society to our family anywhere so now if we see the first we have mentioned about some fundamentals now this uh, entire session has been inspired by the book written by set gordon uh, indispensable link fin now we have actually taken the principles primarily from that book but definitely would like to explain it in a different way now if we are talking about the first 12 points at first how to become indispensable what are the different uh, processes to be indispensable then we will talk about seven qualities which will make us indispensable so at first we'll talk about the process at first we talk about certain principles which must be followed to be indispensable then we will talk about the competency and the qualities to be indispensable let's start with the process number 1 modern work encourage indispensable so you know uh, in our thought process always we think from from our childhood days from our school days work is actually based on instruction whenever you are doing something it has to be based on instruction you have no right to think in a different way and apply your own brain which is actually not correct whenever we start our work life we understand emphasize or importance always would be given to a person who can think differently who can not only follow instruction but can also think and create something new that's the most special quality for instruction follow can be done by a machine as well why do i need a human being for that now thankfully the modern work after the industrial revolution it actually encouraging your indispensable behavior like it encourage innovation it encourage creativity 
it encourages judgment it encourages decision making it also encourages teamwork which is actually very much important to become an indispensable resource to be successful in a modern work you need to have those qualities whenever you have those qualities automatically you will become a link fin for the organization or for your service as well number 2 what a link fin looks like now obviously we will thought how a link fin an indispensable person will look like indispensable person does they do something different yes they do something different but it doesn't mean that they have done something different in their study in their childhood that's why they have reached that position it's all about their thought process it's all about the way they are managing the things it all about the principles the basic principles they are following so let us understand that as well so most important art is possible in any environment what is art do i mean art means painting or uh, sculpture or something like that not really art means your creativity your innovation your thought process to do something new so whenever you have that quality definitely you would be an indispensable person for an organization or for your services now do you really think that always the art or innovation or doing new things that kind of platform would be provided to you in most of the organization it is not there <clears throat> art is not possible you know it is the platform is not provided to you no one will give you in a plate and say okay fine you start the creative things no one will do that so what 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 we need to do in that case we need to do we need to understand art is possible in any environment it's us depends on us who will start working on the new items working in a different way and implement that creativity and new creation in our day to day job as well so obviously thinking differently doing something different is actually the basic uh, description of an art and that can be started in any environment irrespective of the nature of your job nature of the company and nature of the services provided by you now the next one is don't fund your passion it should be applied most of most of the cases what happens you know people spend their entire life by finding their passion i love to write very good i love to talk that's good i love to uh, paint i love to create something new those are my passion very good do you really think that you will get a job which will only required to do this kind of uh, passion fulfillment no one is bothered to give you an opportunity to fulfill your passion all this very ruthless they only talk about business money profit making all this so obviously business has to grow business has to be there otherwise your uh, work your profile your role everything is actually useless so therefore if you really try to find your passion in an organization or in a role it is impossible but on the other hand if you get a job you you analyze that you try to analyze your role as well and i am quite sure at any point of time you will get an opportunity to apply your passion maybe you know you are playing a role of a software engineer you are playing a role of a mechanical engineer you are playing a role of a script writer of a film but on the other hand at any point of time maybe at the not at the beginning but after certain point of time obviously you will get an opportunity where you will be able to apply your passion you need to wait for that opportunity you need to find that opportunity you need to identify that opportunity where you can apply your passion even in your day to day boring monotonous job as well most of the cases what happens people only follow instruction they do not think beyond their role they do not think at an organization level more or toward at a market level because organization is also operating at a market there might be new opportunities might be new places where things can be explored and where your thought process your passion can be applied and who knows the organization will accept your proposal but if you don't even try for it definitely that's not going to happen the next one is what resistance will you have to your art most of the cases we have some resistance what kind of resistance that you know i really cannot think about something new i cannot generate new idea my boss doesn't like me to generate new idea fine a lot of road blocks are can be there lot of innovations also can be there but on the other hand if we always think about those resistance primarily mind resistance not really physical resistance or most of the time not real resistance as well 
But if we really think only about resistance, art, creativity, doing something new would not be possible. And therefore, you cannot be indispensable. You are just one of those person in the organization, in your service providing community who are doing the same thing. Even if you go, there are a thousand more, millions more who can offer the same kind of job, same kind of responsibility can be given to them and same kind of output would be there. So why, are, why you? Because you can do something different. There are maybe very few, you know, thousands, hundred, maybe, you know, only numbers who can do this. Then you are indispensable. You cannot be replaced. You are a LinkedIn. Now next one is, don't give yourself a plan B. Most of the time what happens if we are not able to uh, manage our present situation, if we are not able to do something, whatever is assigned to us, whatever is our primary target, we always go for a plan B. Don't go for a plan B immediately because ultimately, you know, if you want to be successful, if you really want to do something, really want to be indispensable in your profile, you need to work on the plan A itself. Plan B is something when you do not have nothing to do with planning. All other options are actually gone. Then only plan B can be thought of. And that's why plan A is your primary target, is your primary goal. Now the next one is becoming a link fin lets you be generous. Most important, you know, most of the cases what happens when you are indispensable, when you are a very important resource, people act funny. People act in a different way. Linkfin or indispensable means you are, you would be behaving in a generous way. If you are not able to work with your team, if you are not able to work with your colleagues, then you cannot be indispensable. Their support, their help and working together is very important. Therefore, you need to be generous. You need to help others. Do not really wait, you know, for some return that I will help someone whenever I will get a return then you cannot be indispensable. You be in that position where people will look forward to you. Even without expecting any return, you are actually helping others. That means you are different. You are indispensable. No one else is like that. Doing something for the sake of something in return, it's a very common thing. But doing something without an expectation of something in return is very uncommon. Very unnatural. Very much you know, required in our, in our organization. And that's how you will become LinkedIn. Next one is, how do I know art is for me? So whenever, you know, there is an opportunity, or there is a something, you know, I need to analyze, I need to understand, I need to match with my present thought process, with my, my objective, my goal of my life. I need to analyze that in that way. And then only I will understand whether the art or the creativity possibility is actually meant for me. Next one is, what does a LinkedIn work look like? You know, there is no specific LinkedIn work there where, you know, you can, where you, can, you can do a specific job. So LinkedIn work is nothing, you know, very common or, you know, something very specific or something different from other. LinkedIn work is actually the same day-to-day -day work whatever you are doing. Maybe in a different way. Maybe by applying something new. Maybe by applying some new processes. Maybe by applying some new pro project. Maybe applying some new thought process. And by doing something, you know, creative way can make the work different from others. So that's how the LinkedIn work always looks like different from other job. So that's why we should always not think that linking work means or indispensable work means that is definitely different from others. No, it's the same thing. Maybe our approach is different. Maybe the thought process is different. Maybe the way you are managing the thing that is different. And that's why the entire job process, the entire delivery actually becomes indispensable. Your role becomes indispensable. Your, 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 del your profile becomes very indispensable and you will become linking. Now the next one is failure is inevitable, so you should not, you know, only, 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 uh, you know, be demotivated for your mistakes. Failure is inevitable. You cannot resist that. Human being would be would be making mistakes. There would be failure. Whenever you try something new, failures would be there. If you do not try anything, failure will not happen. So do you really think that with the fear of failure? With the fear of making some mistake, you will always be in your shell and never try something new. Then you will never reach a position where you become indispensable. 
you always try to take the risk, need to take calculative risk, need to take calculative assumption as well. And then after failure, you learn whatever is missing, whatever is not been done, what mistakes actually has happened. And that's how, how can I improve myself? Failures or mistakes are very important to make the improvement, to make the changes and to do something that is not there. And therefore, we will learn to do the things in a much different way. So therefore, failure and mistakes should not make a demotivated is actually a motivating factor to make the things much better. The next one is it's not a lonely task. It's definitely not a lonely task. You cannot do a linking job, an indispensable job alone. Your team members has to support you and don't give up. The last one is don't give up. Even if you know failure and mistakes is happening again and again, one thing is for sure, one point of time, the failure or the mistakes will give you such an idea or such a thought process that ultimately you will definitely become an indispensable by doing something very differently. So therefore, giving up is not a solution. So these are the 12 points or 12 principles that we should follow to become an indispensable worker, a service provider, a link friend. Now we will talk about seven qualities which will enable us to become LinkedIn. What are those? Number one, delivering unique creativity. So whenever you are delivering some unique creative work, you know, something very different from others, no one else can do that. Maybe very much important for the organization, important for the market as well. Then you become LinkedIn. Number two, managing situation of complexity. Everybody runs from a complex situation. No one loves to be in a complex situation. Everybody fear of a complex situation. But if you have the quality, the capability to manage a complex situation, to jump into a complex situation, sometimes you can be failure as well, quite natural. But at least you have the courage, the guts to jump into a situation, a complex situation. You are indispensable. At least people can rely on you. 50% cases, you are not successful, but 50% cases or 40% cases, you are successful. You are maybe one of those only person in the organization or in the service provider where people can depend on you. Number three, leading, managing situation and then leading customers. So whenever you are leading the customers, whenever you are, uh, you know, customer focused, whenever you are talking about any business, any service, customer is the boss, customer is the ultimate thing. So in your way, leading the customer, thinking in the customer's shoes, thinking in the way the customer should looking forward for the business and the service, definitely were different. Most of the cases, people are not very service or customer oriented, they're product and organization oriented. Customer focus is one of the most rare quality to become indispensable. Next one, provide deep domain knowledge. Every organization, every service has a deep domain. Maybe in a software company, it's a BFSI, retail, or, you know, maybe, you know, medical, you know, you are providing a service in medical industry, literature industry, education industry, whatever it is. If you have the deep domain knowledge of that specific industry, that specific domain, how it functions, how it works, how to make the changes, how different things are working in that particular industry, then only you would be able to become indispensable, a link And the last one is, Possessing a unique talent. Yeah, talent is very, you know, most of the cases people will ask, talent is something not natural. Yes, I agree. Talent cannot be natural. On the other hand, if you understand and identify one talent, which is very unique to your organization, to your profile, to the service you are providing, and try to adopt that, try to learn that, try to prepare yourself for that and possess that after a certain point of time, you will become indispensable for sure. Indispensability, becoming a link fin will not happen in a day. It will take time. It will happen over a period of time. And that's how you become indispensable whenever you are possessing any unique quality. So these are the seven qualities. One is providing unique interface, delivering unique creativity, managing situation of complexity, leading customers, inspiring stuff, providing deep domain knowledge, possessing unique talent. All these seven talents or qualities are very important to become indispensable to be a link friend. So at the end of the session, we would like to say one thing. You know, all these concepts, all these principles, description of the competencies definitely would be helpful to become indispensable. But at the end of the day, you are the best person to judge your capability, to judge your interest area, to judge which art is for you, 
which are you should adopt and do the creativity and whenever you can find out that whenever you can identify that work towards that and achieve it as well you will definitely become indispensable and a link friend no one can replace you no one can think anything any other alternative apart from you so that's it for today's session i i, I hope you have liked it if you have liked it please subscribe the channel human and emotions plus you can see the podcast and uh, you know some other areas it's now available few of the sessions intended as well and uh, we will come back with a new session very soon with something similar which will help us to understand some very basic life professional and motivational qualities to become a much better individual and professional as well thank you for listening stay safe stay healthy